And thanks for joining us. For more local coverage, you can count on I'm Annette Pegler. And I'm Trish Munn. New at 530, a local nonprofit is helping those with disabilities navigate the waves of surfing. And for one Socastee High School student, it's been life changing. It's called the Adaptive Surf Project. And News 13's Gabby Jonas explains how it's helping members of inclusive communities explore new hobbies. The nonprofit organization's mission is to help inspire inclusive communities with adaptive surfing. And for Bryson Dowdy, he says surfing is a passion he's thankful to have found. Helping those with disabilities throughout the Grand Strand, the Adaptive Surf Project is lying much across the city's beaches to help those in need of wheelchair access. The group of volunteers also help individuals like Bryce and Dowdy be able to maneuver the waves on their own. Dowdy was born with spina bifida. It's a condition that affects his spine. Dowdy has been unable to walk, however, has not limited his love for sports in and out of the water. Using his waist and shoulders to propel himself onto a surfboard, he says he's thankful for the project for helping him overcome his fear of the ocean for allowing him easy beach access. So recently, um, I went out there last week or two, I think it was, and actually tried it all, all on my own. At first I did it with him and then he was like, you should try it on your own. I was like, okay, sure. I did it, a lot of fun. It feels great, honestly. It felt great. The first time I came in, I was like, yeah. Dowdy says his newfound passion for surfing continues to grow and sits right up there with his favorite sport of basketball. At six, I'll have more on how his mother reacts to her son's new passion. In Surfside, Gabby Jonas, News 13.